The first time I ever saw Wilna Hervey in a movie, she was beating a fire bell with a sledgehammer, tossing the sledgehammer around like it was a toy. Here was a six foot three, 300 pound woman beating the hell out of a fire bell. <laughs> And I was absolutely captivated. I couldn't imagine who she was. I'd never heard of her before. So I decided about seven years ago to start looking. And I discovered that her story was as large as she was. Nineteen sixteen was her first appearance on screen for all of sixteen seconds. And for her first sixteen seconds in the movies, she made as much money as the average factory worker got in a week. She made about 30 films altogether in her career, and something like seven of them have survived, and a couple of those are just fragments. I decided at one point I wanted to find out more about this woman. Who was she, where did she come from, and where did she go? Because past the mid-20s, she disappears and I had no idea why she never appeared in another film. My research led to a story that was so unusual and had so many unexpected twists and turns that uh, I thought it had to be shared. Wilna's adventures in some cases are almost like the best movie you could imagine. Wilna's co-star in the Tunerville movies was Dan Mason. And he had a daughter whose name was Nan. Wilna and Nan met in 1920, and at first weren't quite sure what to make of each other. Nan, incidentally, was a big woman herself. She was about six foot tall. They very quickly discovered that they had a lot in common, and little did they realize at that first meeting that they would be together for the next 59 years. Woodstock uh, in those days was the site of a very rapidly growing art colony. And Wilna discovered that the people who lived in Woodstock were just as creative and unconventional as she was. And she loved it so much that she actually bought property there in 1920. And Nan fell in love with the place uh, exactly the way that Wilna had. <laughs> By 1923, Wilna had come to the realization that there just weren't that many parts for an actress her size. And when Wilna gave up trying to get back into the movies in 1923, they drove to New York and settled themselves on Wilna's property and built themselves a proper cottage and began their lives as artists in Woodstock. As a same-sex couple, they had found the perfect place to live in Woodstock because the Woodstock creed was, do what you want to do, as long as you don't harm anybody. Wilna and Nan started out as painters. Wilna painted portraits, Nan uh, painted landscapes. As the years went by, they tried everything. Nan became a very good photographer. Wilna began making enamels. Nan learned how to do silk screening at one point. There really was no artistic genre except for sculpture that they didn't explore. One day, Wilna decided they should be farmers. And so uh, it was also typical of Nan that she would say, oh, you want to be a farmer? Fine, that sounds like fun. And so they decided to buy more land and buy animals and plows Nan's father had a fit when he found out that they were literally plowing the fields. He said, that's man's work. And it wasn't long before Wilna and Nan were being referred to all over Woodstock as the big girls. The life that Wilna and Nan shared together was a life of nonstop adventures. Nobody, including them, ever knew what they were up to from one week to the next. One of my favorite parts of their saga is their trip to Europe in 1926 and 1927. Wilna, trying to get into the gondola in Venice, she nearly fell in the water, and then when she flopped into the gondola, the gondola nearly sank. And so the, the gondoliers were terrified of Wilna and Nan. 
which they rather thought was funny, and so they took gondolas everywhere. Over the years, they evolved into one of the most colorful and beloved couples in the Woodstock community. Every year in August, under the full moon, they would throw what they called a full moon party. And they invited literally everybody they knew. Sometimes there were uh, upwards of 200 people attending their parties. At least one of their parties, some of the festivities were recorded. All I can say is that uh, this is a wonderful kind of Woodstock evening and good food that we're accustomed to. <laughs> Their parties became uh, the stuff of local legend. Even as old ladies, they were still exploring new horizons. Uh, Wilna and Ann had met two young men in Florida near their winter home, and they taught Wilna how to snorkel. And Nan had started taking home movies at that time, and she thought this whole business was such fun that she filmed it. The process of writing this book took seven years. It would not have been possible at all except for one fact. Wilna and Nan were pack rats. They never threw anything away, and I mean literally never threw anything away. So there was a treasure trove. Oh, Nan, do you have your ukulele? My ukulele? Yes, will you please find it, darling? My ukulele, she Yes. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. It, it's clear that Wilna and Nan were devoted to each other. You can see their devotion in the photographs they took of each other. You can see it in the paintings and drawings that they did of each other. And you can see it in Nan's home movies where one-third of her footage is Wilna. At one time or another, Wilna and Nan explored every possibility that appealed to them. They were artists, they were farmers, they were clowns, they were cheesemakers, they were dog breeders, they were landscape artists, they were real estate speculators, they were photographers, they were enamelists, and they were legendary party animals. But of all the things that they accomplished, their greatest achievement was mastering the most important of all the arts, the art of living. No, 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 never had a thrill till I held your hand. Don't know what it is, but I understand that it's something new, it's different, it's grand, oh baby. What if I should die and travel? to where I would have to climb the heavenly stair. Wouldn't it be hell if you weren't there, oh babe? 